guess what we're doing today? I'm here with Kat. Hi. And her channel is Catrific if you don't already know her. We are going to be making more puppy chow because Yay. you guys really <laughs> seem to like my chocolate hazelnut puppy chow it's that I so posted good. last week. And this week I'm going to be showing you how to make peppermint puppy chow. So this is really festive because you can see like the red and green specks from candy canes in it and it has a lighter flavor to it so it's not as rich and heavy. It's a really great party food. Puppy chow in general is amazing and it's not dog food. <laughs> For everybody that was like, I, I thought you were making dog food. It was so funny because I was getting so many tweets from people like, I thought you were making dog food and then I realized it wasn't so I went and watched your video. <laughs> so that was super funny. So we're going to show you how to make it. So let's get started. For this puppy chow recipe, you are going to need rice check cereal, some plastic bags, candy canes, white chocolate chips, butter, and powdered sugar. I'm going to have Kat measure everything out before we put it all into the microwave. So we're starting off with the white chocolate chips. And Kat, if you can measure out a cup of those. While she's doing that, I'm going to take one tablespoon of butter. So I'm just grabbing a knife here. I love white chocolate so much. Yeah, it's really good. About one tablespoon of butter goes in there like that. So if you guys watched my last puppy chow video, then you know that this goes in the microwave and you want to do it in increments. So we're going to put it in for 30 seconds, bring it back out, stir it, put it back in until it's nice and smooth. So we have our chocolate chips here. They've been in the microwave for 30 seconds and now I'm just going to stir it up. Even that looks good. I know, it does look good. <laughs> All right, it's been in the microwave for 30 more seconds, so we're just gonna mix it again. Whoa, <laughs> that looks a lot creamier and crazier. I know. I think we're just gonna need one more time, so it's basically yeah. just like last time. Chocolate is pretty consistent all across the board. It smells recording. so good. <laughs> but I'm gonna be weird. <laughs> I put my face down. Like butter and chocolate. <laughs> It looks like frosting. I know, now. I was just gonna say, it looks like cake frosting. Okay, so our chocolate is nice and smooth now. And if you need your chocolate to be a little bit more liquidy, you can always add milk to it, and that will help thin it out a little bit because you do want it to be somewhat runny so you can coat your cereal. So we're just going to set this aside for now. I'm going to be taking six candy canes and sticking them in this Ziploc bag here and then taking Mr. Mug and using it to crush the candy canes into tiny little bits and pieces. So I have my Chex cereal and I am just going to measure out about four cups of cereal. We have the candy canes all crushed up now. So you want them to be fairly small so you're not getting like huge gigantic chunks when you bite into your puppy chow. Now it is time to coat the Czech cereal with the white chocolate mixture. So just gonna dump it out. Then I'm going to take a spoon here and mix it all together. That reminds me of Rice Krispies. I know. Oh, like, it smells, it smells so really cold. good. We are going to need a cup of powdered sugar. Can we leave that to me? Can to measure yes, it out? Yes, I am. All right. So Kat's going to hold this bag open for me, and I am going to scoop in the Czech cereal. And then Kat is just gonna add in another half a cup, about a half, doesn't have to be exact, of powdered sugar just over the top here. So Kat is shaking it up. I feel like this is like a kid's dream. Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> I know, make a mess, but it keep it contained. Exactly. Any parents out there, or if you have kids in your family, let them do this because they are going to love it. Thanks, mom. Yeah, you can make a mess. Thanks, Miss Mamarazzi. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, I thought yeah. it would be. It looks really cool once it's like 
all mixed together. We'll show you guys in a second. <laughs> so our puppy chow is finished and it looks really cool because you have all of the little specks from the candy canes and it shows up and it looks really pretty and festive. And to dress it up even more, you can put this in a bigger bowl if you're serving it at a party, but you can like garnish it with some candy canes just so people know that it's not your average puppy chow. And there it is, the peppermint puppy chow. That is it for the puppy chow recipe and we both had a little taste and it tastes really good. It has a nice light flavor to it so this is great if regular puppy chow is too sweet for you because puppy chow can be very sugary. Be sure to check out the video that Kat and I did on her channel. What did we do? We played Christmas charades and it's pretty funny. So I will have that link down below for you guys and be sure to subscribe to Kat while you're there because she is amazing Aww. and thank you Kat <laughs> for helping me out with the puppy chow today. No problem. But that is going to be it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.